Hi, I'm Jay Smith, Herco Applications, uh, and today I'd like to show you a quick process you can use uh, when you've got multiple parts to run and you don't have a bar feeder or bar puller available and you don't want to deal with your part setup in between runs. Uh, so I've got a completed part here. We've already cut one. Everything checks good. Now I need to deal with running multiple uh, parts. Uh, to do that, I'm actually going to add a couple simple blocks to my program uh, to take care of this process for me. So when I go into my program, I'm going to go to the very beginning uh, and I'm going to insert a position block to start with. Now in my turret, I've set up a custom uh, stop block, which we'll show you here in a minute. And I'm just simply going to position that to about 30 thousandths out in front of my part, just a little bit in front of where my part zero should be. Uh, I'm going to tell it I want to move both axes simultaneous and I'm going to ignore the rest of this data block for the time being. I'm then going to go and add one more block, and that is going to be a comment block. Uh, what I'm going to do with this block is not only stop the program, but also give the operator a little bit of information about what we want him to do while the machine is stopped. Uh, the first thing I want to do, and probably the most important, is my stop. I want to make this a stop block, which means this machine will not go on until the operator hits the start cycle button. I'm then going to give him the message on what I want him to do. In this case here, it's just pull bar to stop. So if we look at the program, I've simply given it a position and then told, it, told the operator what I want him to do while the machine is stopped. Now all that's left to do is go in and run the program. You'll see the machine has went to the position I defined and it is now telling me on the screen to pull my bar to the stop. Simply pull the bar to the stop that we set up and then hit your start cycle. <laughs> 